Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today I want to do a video on something that gets asked in my Discord quite a bit by beginner players, so I figured I'll just make a video on it. And that question is, is what SRs in the game are worth keeping, or what do I do with all these SRs that I get on banners, right? So when you guys summon a lot, you're going to be getting a lot of SR or lower characters, and there are certain ones you want to keep your eye out for, but most of them you can probably either sell or use for super attack effect, right? Which I'll, I'll show you guys that in a minute. But there are five SRs in particular that you can pull on banners um, that are worth keeping, right? And this is only going to be talking about SRs that you pull on banners. There are other SRs you can get throughout the game, like farmable ones that are free-to-play units. Like, yep, you could farm those up, get those free-to-play units, you're fine. But in terms of things you're going to pull on a banner, right? What, what do you want to do with these SRs, right? So let me go into my team here. And I put together a specific list here. And there are five specific SRs in the game that are worth keeping, okay? Now, on normal banners, there are two SRs that are worth keeping. And one of them is uh, Jocko. And Jocko will come as an SR like this. Or Chaozu, sorry. So Chaozu and then Jocko. So we got Chaozu, this int one here. Specifically the int one. And then this tech Chao, uh, Jocko. So Jocko and Chaozu are two SRs that are worth holding on to. You don't need to like make them super attack level 10 or anything. You don't need to like invest anything into them. They can just be like level one, whatever. Uh, but you just want to hold on to one copy of each of these. The reason why these units are good, it's they're very good for world tournament. So they have um, a passive that says may stun all enemies. What the game doesn't tell you is that it's actually guaranteed to stun all enemies the first time they appear. So Jocko and Chotsu are good in world tournament because in world tournament, the idea is, is you're bringing AOE units that are going to one shot the whole team. And in world tournament, you don't want to get hit. If you get hit, you could die and lose your, your, uh, uh, lose your score and all that stuff. You don't want to do that, right? So these guys just save you Ghost Ushers, basically, because that's essentially what they are. They pop up. It's a free Ghost Usher. Um, the enemies can't attack you, and you're free to attack them. So that's what Jocko and Chaozu are for. There is some limited use. Like, I've seen people use these guys in, like, Super Battle Road. Like, if you're doing the same thing, you think you can one-shot them in one turn. Um, as long as you can get the fight done before Jocko and Chaozu hop like pop up a second time, um, then you the, you could use them in almost anything where the enemies can be stunned, right? So those are SRs. Definitely hang on to one of each of those. Um the other SRs are all from the friend banner. So there's three SRs that can actually awaken into an LR. So Saiyaman 1 and 2, and if we look at it, the card art you would actually see. So when you actually summon them, they'll look like this. It'll be really obvious when you summon them because an LR will flash on the screen. Like, it'll tell you they can go to an LR. So that's an SR you can summon for that's worth keeping. Uh, Hercule, Hercule, I'll be honest, is really bad. But he does easy A. If you want him for, like, collection purposes, you can definitely hold on to him. But this Hercule... Also goes up to an LR, but he's not good. Um, and then finally, we have Android 17 and 18. Now, Android 17 and 18 and then the Great Sam I wanted to, they're actually good units. Like, I still use them on modern teams. They're actually very good if you get their easy A's done. So those are the five SRs that you'd want to keep. So if those are the only five SRs in the game worth keeping, uh, what do you do with all these other SRs? Well, you have basically two options. You would either sell them to Baba to get Baba points, I guess you could sell them for Zenny, but I wouldn't do that. I'd, I'd get the Baba points. So you'd sell them for Baba points, or you can use them to raise super attack on other characters. And some players don't know this, right? So I'll just show you a little example here, right? So let me go to my character list. And let's say I want to, so I'm going to do growth. And let's say I want to raise the super attack of a character. So I have a card set aside specifically here. All right. So let's say I pulled LR Trunks. So that's this guy right here. So this guy awakens into that LR Trunks, right? But in base form, his name is just Trunks Teen. What you can do with these extra SRs you pull is you can actually use them to awaken the super attack of other characters. You have like better characters that you may be pulled on banners, right? So for example, if I try to train this Trunks, um, you'll see that when I raise super attack, that this SR Trunks pops up as an option. Now, right now, this SR Trunks only gives me a 5% chance to awaken the super attack, right? Which isn't very good. So what we can do is before we go in and do this, we can actually take this Trunks and we can awaken him and we'll get a better chance to awaken the super attack, right? So I'm going to do team character list. Uh, I'm going to go back to that Trunks. And I'm going to grab this SR Trunks right here. So all that I would have to do is just awaken this guy to the highest form that I can. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to auto. And I've got multiples of this trunks, right? So I could try to do this multiple times. Now, this trunks I'm doing here actually happens to be farmable. So you can even farm up some SRs or SSRs of characters and do this, right? 
So I'm going to awaken this guy to an SSR. And I'm going to go back into training. And I'm going to go back and grab that LR trunks again. Okay, trunks. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to this LR trunks and I'm going to train him again. Now what you'll notice is these SR trunks here are still a 5% chance, but this new one that I made SSR now says 50% chance. So basically the way it works, as long as like this LR is in like its lowest rarity form, it's going to be easier to awaken a super attack. So if you awaken this guy to an LR, you'd want to reverse him down back to his original SSR state here, or he could be a UR as long as it's this card art. Um, and then I'm going to have a 50% chance for any trunks that's an SSR. Now, there could be another trunks that starts at SSR and goes to UR. If you raise a trunks to UR and it's a it's a different card, but it's the same name, you'll get a 100% chance, right? So let's just go ahead and try it. Let's try feeding in this 50% trunks. Now, once again, it's only a 50% chance, so I can't guarantee it'll work here. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so that one failed. But I could just keep upgrading those to SSR and then I could feed those in and it would give me a chance, right? And a lot of times on these banners, um, so let me go into, uh, let me actually go into a banner and just explain because some people might not realize why they set up the banners the way they do, right? So if I go into the featured units on this banner, we'll see if this banner is kind of set up the way I think it is. It may not be. Yeah, okay. So for example, this is the Ultimate Gohan banner, right? So look at this. They have they have SR characters featured on the banner. Why would they do SR feature characters? It's because they want you to use them for super attack. So while you're pulling for Ultimate Gohan, you're probably going to pull a bunch of this SR Ultimate Gohan. Well, you can raise all of these up to SSR and then feed them into that new physical Ultimate Gohan that you hopefully pulled and give him free super attack level, right? I think uh, Janemba might be on. I think Janemba's on one of these. Here's a Boo because this guy can go up to uh, Kid Boo and you could use that on the Kid Boo. Um, this cell could be for first form cell, right? So they put all of these featured SRs, they do that intentionally so that you can raise the super attack of the characters you might be pulling on the banner, right? So anyways, guys, that's what you do with your SR characters. Once again, there's only five really worth keeping um, for actually using themselves, but the rest you either use for super attack level or sell the Baba. So anyways, guys, if there's any SRs that you're not sure about, but I, I mean, that this would cover every SR on any banner. Like there is nothing else in the game that like awakens to LR that you'd pull on a banner or that you'd use for any reason. But there are SRs that are free to play that you would use, right? But I'm not really including those here. Free to play units, you just farm them if you want them and you use them if you want them. So hopefully this guide helps. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.